we are going to unbox it we are going to compare it we're going to analyze it and review it and at the end of our coverage we're going to let you know if it's a phone with a camera or a camera with a phone i'm anton denied this is pocket now and you're watching the samsung galaxy s4 zoom unboxing let's go check it out This is the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom, and these are the obligatory scissors. While we open this FedEx packaging, coming to us from our friends at globe.co.uk, let's talk a little bit about this device. With the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom, we are concluding our series of reviewing the phones that Samsung introduced at its London Premiere event. If you've missed our Galaxy S4 Active and Galaxy S4 Mini reviews, head over to Pocket Now to catch up, and remember to subscribe to our social media channels to stay up to date. And while Samsung is marketing this as a phone with a camera, due to its looks, many are considering it the other way around, a camera with a phone. If it matters to you, we'll let you know what we think in our full review. So here's the box in line with all the other Samsung boxes of 2013 lineup. S4, S4 Active, S4 Mini and the tablets. Artificial wooden texture on recyclable carbon printed with soy ink. The front has the picture of the device itself with the zoom lens extended. And also we got some branding action going on on the sides and the back calls out some specific features of the S4 Zoom. We got the imaging features being mentioned first, like the 10x optical zoom, 16 megapixel autofocus camera with optical image stabilization, of course paired with a 1.9 megapixel webcam, and then comes the rest, like the 4.5 inch Super AMOLED screen, 1.5 GHz dual core processor, and a 2330 mAh battery. Obviously, this S4 Zoom has 8GB of internal storage. Cracking the box open reveals the, air quotes, phone itself, which we'll put to the side. Underneath the carton there's your usual pros, the obligatory USB cable for syncing and charging, like you don't already have a kilometer of those, the charger, which in our case came with a UK plug, as well as the headphones, which are always nice, with additional gels. There's a 2330 mAh battery bundled. Let's take a look at the device itself and switch to the special screen protector peeling cam. Now that we got the plastic off, if you look at the S4 zoom from this angle, you might think it's an S4, S4 mini, S3 or you name it. However, if you turn it to the side or to its back, you will realize that it's not. On the front we have, like on every other Samsung phone, the earpiece up top, flanked by the front facer and sensors to the right and left. A 4.3 inch QHD Super AMOLED screen, a physical home button, as well as capacitive buttons for back and menu. On the left there's a tripod mount, as well as a micro SD card slot for expanding the small amount of built-in storage, and a lanyard hole. The opposite side features the power button, volume rockers, as well as a huge shutter button. We wish we would see more of those on phones. Now turning it to the back, we'll see the magic. We got a 16 megapixel camera sensor with 10 times optical zoom lens and also optical image stabilization. Xenon flashes in, there's also a focus assist light, you got the speakers and of course a camera grip since this is a camera with a phone or is it a phone with a camera. Let's not forget about the ring which is used for zoom and other functionality. We'll talk about that later in future videos. The top features a 3.5mm headphone jack as well as the microphone and an IR blaster. On the bottom there's the micro USB port as well as the flap for battery and SIM card slot. While rebooting the S4 Zoom up for the first time, let's recap the specs. There's a 4.3 inch Super AMOLED screen with QHD resolution which is 540x960, a 1.5GHz dual core processor, 1.5 gigs of RAM, 8 gigs of internal storage, out of which 5 are usable, of course expandable via microSD, a 16 megapixel main camera on the back with 10 times optical zoom, 1.9 megapixel webcam, 2330 mAh battery and Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean with TouchWiz on top of it. Other specs include Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC as well as a 3G and LTE radio capabilities. One might say that the Galaxy S4 Zoom is more like a Galaxy S4 Mini with a huge camera rather than a Galaxy S4 because of the specs, which are almost identical with the Mini. More on that in our upcoming videos and the review itself. Yes? No, that was my zoom lens. 
everyone that's gonna do it for today for the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom unboxing. I've been Anson Dinod, you can follow me on Facebook as well as on Twitter, and if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Stay tuned to Pocket Now for more on the Samsung Galaxy S4 Zoom. Till next time, take care.